Hey everyone, this is Nick Diabertis teaching you financial modeling. Today, we're going to be learning about how to calculate the market value of equity. And this is part of our lecture series on the discounted cash flow valuation model, focusing on the cost of capital portion of the model. So we have already discussed uh, the overview of the DCF model and how to work with enterprise value and equity value. And then we also estimated the cost of equity. So now we're coming to estimating the market value of equity because ultimately to create the WAC, we're gonna need the cost and market values of both equity and debt. So coming to the market value of equity, uh, we are going to need this basically in order to create the weights in the WAC formula. So the weights are taking the market value of equity and dividing it by the total capital. That would be the equity weight. And the debt weight would be the market value of debt divided by the total capital. And the total capital is just the sum of the market values of equity and debt. As long as we're ignoring preferred stock, which uh, for the purposes of this lecture we are, and it tends to be a very minor portion of the capital structure. So if your company is publicly traded, it is very straightforward to calculate the market cap or market value of the company uh, because it's already publicly available information. You just look in the market since it's publicly traded and there you'll be able to see the number of shares outstanding as well as the current share price. And when you multiply these two things together, you get the market capitalization, which is the same as the market value of equity. So that's all it takes for a publicly traded company. Now, if your company is not publicly traded, that's where this can become a challenging exercise. So if your company uh, is not publicly traded, but they are well established uh, and have competitors, which are fairly comparable. A lot of people will use comparable based approaches to calculate the market value of equity. Basically look at the competitors, which uh, you would find one that is publicly traded or hopefully multiple that are publicly traded and look at the market value of those companies and then compare the company that you ultimately want to get the market value for to these companies along different dimensions to try and back into the market value of this company. For example, if a competitor has $10 billion of market value and they have a 10% market share and the structure of this company is very similar to the one that you're trying to value and the one that you're trying to value has a 5% market share and you see that the profit margins are similar across the two companies, then it might be reasonable to conclude that the value of company that you're trying to value, the market value of equity, is half of the market value of this other company, so five billion. So these are the kinds of uh, thought exercises that people go through to be able to come up with the market value for non-public companies uh, by looking at comparables. Sometimes you're not even going to have comparables, especially for very early stage companies. Uh, they might be coming up with some new technology that nobody else has created before. How do you come up with a comparable for that? You can't. Um, and so for those companies, luckily, most of the time, those early stage companies are not even going to have debt in the capital structure. They're going to be 100% equity uh, financed. And so to come up with their whack, it's 100% equity. You only need to consider the cost of equity. You don't even need the market value of equity to calculate the whack. So hopefully that's the case. But if your company is private, has no comparables, and also has debt in the capital structure, then all you can really go off of is trying to look at the, uh, the business and trying to estimate the value uh, based on the present value of future cash flows. 
um, which of course is quite a bit more involved than these other approaches. But again, it's pretty rare that uh, you would need to do that because these early stage companies where you don't have comparables typically do not carry debt, and so you don't need to go through this exercise. But as far as this class is concerned, and probably most of the time that you're going to be calculating the WAC for a company, it's going to be a public company, and in that case, just use the market cap as the market value of equity, and you're done. So that covers market value of equity in the context of calculating WAC. So thanks for listening, and see you next time.